Hello everyone, this is Iran Talk and in this video I'd like to explore the question of whether or not the modern day Iranians including the Kurds and Azerbaijanis are more Arab than Aryan. In other words, the primary objective of this video will be to assess the amount of Aryan and Arab ancestry that's harbored by modern day Iranians. In fact, what genetically constitutes Aryan ancestry will be assessed here, first by taking a look at Andronova ancestry in modern day Iranians and then taking a look at Yaz Aryan ancestry in these populations as well. Thus, this analysis will consist of a two-pronged approach. So without further ado, I'd like to begin. Now here is a map of the overall territorial extent of the Andronova culture as well as the Bimak and Yaz cultures and this was created by my good friend son of Manu so please check out his channel when you get a chance to. He's done some excellent work on the genetic origins of modern day Europeans as well as Iranians and some fringe South Asian populations such as the Kalash. Now what's interesting with this map is that you can see the Andronovo culture span most of Central Asia and then you can see that a tiny amount of Central Asia was inhabited by the peoples of the Bimak culture as well as the Yaz culture. So what's interesting to note here is that prior to the Aryan migration into Iran, there was a process of Bimakization in which the Aryans admixed and hybridized with the native Bimak population to form the Yaz culture. It is also worth noting that we have samples from both the Andrino and BMAC cultures and what's interesting here is that we also have a hybridized sample from the Yaz culture. So again, this analysis will consist of firstly taking a look at Andrino ancestry harbored by modern day Iranians and then Yaz Aryan ancestry as well. This analysis will be done using Davidsky's G25 calculator utilized through the Genoplot software. In regards to the genetic origins of the Andronovo people, here are their breakdowns. So you can see they are on average 65.4% Bronze Age step, 21.3% Neolithic Anatolian, 1.6% Neolithic East Asian, 4.6% West Siberian hunter-gatherer and 7.1% Western hunter-gatherer. What's evident from these results is that on a genetic level, the Andronovo populations were mostly of Yamnaya descent. Despite this, however, they did have a bit of Neolithic Anatolian ancestry as well, with only minor amounts of Neolithic Eastern and West Siberian hunter-gatherer and Western hunter-gatherer ancestry. Thus, these results prove that the Andronovo populations were mostly of Bronze Age steppe Yamnayan descent, which is quite interesting. Now here are the source populations that are used for this breakdown and you can see there is a Yamnayan component, a Neolithic Iranian component, a Caucasian hunter-gatherer component, a Neolithic Anatolian component, a Neolithic East Asian component, an Indian hunter-gatherer component, a Western hunter-gatherer component, a Neolithic Levantine component as well as Sub-Saharan African and West Siberian hunter-gatherer component. This calculator was used in this breakdown but for the remaining calculations featured in this analysis I'll be using modified versions of this calculator. Though again instead of Wahudu I'll be using Genoplot. That's it for this phase of the video and as you saw again these original Andronovo populations were mostly of European descent and thus were a part of the European linguistic as well as genetic family which is quite interesting and remarkable. Now here are the source populations for these calculations. So despite using genome plot, I did this on the Wahudu database. So you can see there is an Andrino Bronze Age component, an Iran Calcolithic component, a Neolithic East Asian component, an Anatolia Neolithic component, a Neolithic Caucasian component, a Sub-Saharan African component, a late antique Arab component, and an ancient South Asian component. Now what's interesting to note here is that most of these uh, populations actually have little to no Iranian farmer ancestry with the exception of the late antique Arab and ancient South Asian sample sets. These two populations do indeed have a bit of ancestry deriving from an Iranian source as is the case with both the late antique Arab and the ancient South Asian sources. Now here are the breakdowns for the modern day Iranian. So you can see their Iran Calcolithic ancestry ranges from 58% to 82.8%. Their Andrino Bronze Age ancestry ranges from 15.4 to as high as 24.4%. Then you can see ancient South Asian ancestry peaking here at around about 7.6%. Though nonetheless it is minimal. Then you can see late antique Arab ancestry for the most part. It does not exceed more than 5.8% with the exception of the southern Iranian where it ranges from around about 9.2% to 11.6%.
Nonetheless, despite the minor amounts of Arab and South Asian ancestry, the modern Iranians are still overwhelmingly of Iran Chalcolithic descent, followed by Andano Bronze Age descent, and this means that the foreigners throughout Iran's history invaded the country and even migrated through it, nonetheless left very negligible genetic influences on the genome of modern-day Iranians. Thus, these results largely support Iranian genetic continuity and stability. Now here are the fits for these uh, models and you can see that for the most part they are less than 2 and this means they are excellent though with 2 of them they do exceed 2 nonetheless those are good as well so overall what this means is that these models are excellent and sound. Moving on here are the breakdowns for the Iranians from the east so this is from eastern Iran so you can see their Iran calculated cancer ranges from 53 to 60.8% their Andrano Bronze Age answer ranges from 22.2 to 25% their Neolithic East Asian answer ranges from 1 to 7.8% their ancient South Asian answer ranges from 7 to 17% their late antique Arab answer is absent in two of the samples in the remaining two it peaks at 2.6% and finally they have a tiny amount of sub-Saharan African answer though nonetheless this is very minimal what these results prove is that the Eastern Iranians from Khorasan are also largely genetically Iranian though they do have more East Asian and South Asian ancestry compared to other modern day Iranians. Now here are the fits for these models and you can see that they are excellent as well. They are less than 2 in all of these samples and they are very close to 1 in some of them. So what this means is that these models are overall great and very much supported by the scientific method. Now up next we have the samples from Azad Mard's personal collection. So you can see their Iran calculated cancer ranges from 66.2 to 82.6%. Their Andrano answer ranges from 14.8 to as high as 22%. So it is significant that minimal South Asian answer not exceeding more than 7.4%. Neolithic East Asian answer here does not exceed more than 6.2%. And late antique Arab answer does not exceed more than 8.4%. And one of the samples, the Khuzi Persian, also has a bit of sub Saharan African ancestry. Nonetheless, as you can still see mostly genetic continuity and very little South Asian, Arab and Sub-Saharan African ancestry. What this means is that on a genetic level the Iranians in Azad Mard's personal collection are also largely genetically contiguous and have minimal foreign ancestry. In fact as is evident from these results you can see that they have minimal Arab ancestry. Now here are the fits for these models and you can see that they are excellent and again the majority of them are less than 2 though with the exception of the Lurik Kuchak and the Persian from Fars. Nonetheless what these results prove is that the fits are excellent and overall these models are very much validated by the scientific method. That's essentially it for this phase of the video. In the next phase of the video I'll be taking a look at the genetic origins of the Kurds and Azerbaijanis in light of their Andronovo ancestry. Now here are the breakdowns for the Kurds and you can see their Iran calculated ancestry ranges from 65 to 79.4%, their Andrano ancestry ranges from 16.2 to 22.2%, their ancient South Asian ancestry ranges from 0 to 6.8%, their East Asian ancestry ranges from 0 to as high as 2.2% and finally their late antique Arab ancestry ranges from 0 to 7.2%. Also keep in mind that these are the results for the Iranian Kurds and up next I'll be taking a look at the Iranian Azerbaijani. So this analysis is specifically focused on modern day Iranian populations not the Kurds and Azerbaijanis of neighboring countries. Overall you can see with these results that the Kurds are again mostly of Iran calculating and Andronovan descent with minimal foreign ancestry, which is quite interesting and remarkable. Now here we have the fits for these models and you can see that they are less than 2 in 3 of the samples and in 2 of them they do exceed 2 nonetheless they are still fairly low so what this means is that overall these models are excellent and sound. Moving on here are the results for the other Bajani so you can see that their Iran calculated cancer ranges from 69 to 76.4%, their Andrano answer ranges from 16.4 to 20%, their Neolithic East Asian answer ranges from 4.8 to 7.2%, and finally their ancient South Asian answer ranges from 0 to 5%. Thus overall with these results you can see a great degree of genetic continuity and stability for the Azerbaijani with minimal East Asian and South Asian answer though again the East Asian answer here is elevated compared to the other samples taken a look at in this analysis. Now here are the fits for the model then you can see they are excellent and they are less than 2 which is quite interesting and what this means is that overall these models are validated by the scientific method.
that is essentially it for this phase of the video in the next phase of the video i will be taking a look at yaz aryan ancestry in modern day iranians kurds and azerbaijanis again please keep in mind that these are iranian populations and not populations from neighboring countries and what you'll see is that the iranians of today will once again have minimal foreign ancestry as is the case with the kurds and azerbaijanis as well especially minimal arab ancestry Thus, without further ado, I'd like to begin the next phase of this analysis. Now, before I get into the analysis, I'd just like to say that the ancient Iranians from the Yaz culture were a hybridized population between the Proto-Indo-Iranians as well as the indigenous BMAC Iranian farmers. In fact, these findings have been validated by the latest available genetic studies and data. The study in question here is titled Genetic Continuity of Indo-Iranian Speakers Since the Iron Age in Southern Central Asia. And this study was released in Nature Communications. In fact, Nature is one of the most prestigious scientific journals. Regarding the conclusions of this study, you can see that it says there was admixture between BMAC and Andrano in Central Asia and this new population was on average 43% BMAC and 57% Andrano and this later formed the ancient early Iranian population. And you can see that at the bottom the conclusion states overall we can say that the Iron Age population from Southern Central Asia emerges from the admixture of BMAC with a Bronze Age population close to the Andrano individuals which presents a profile with an affinity with Western steppe rather than Central steppe with an affinity with East Asia like Karasok. Thus, these results are overall indicative of the process of BMACization in Central Asia, which saw a hybridization between the incoming proto Indoranians and the indigenous BMAC farmers. That pretty much concludes this piece of research. So up next, I'll be taking a look at Yazarian ancestry in modern-day Iranians. Now here is the source population in question. So you can see there is an early Iranian Yaz component, an Iran Chalcolithic component, a Neolithic Caucasian component, a Neolithic Anatolian component, a Neolithic East Asian component, a Neolithic South Asian component, a Neolithic Levantine component, and a Sub-Saharan African component. Now these source populations will be utilized to assess the amount of early Iranian or Yaz ancestry that's harbored by modern day Iranians, including the Kurds and Azerbaijanis. Now up first we have the breakdowns for the modern day Iranians. So you can see their Iran Chalcolithic ancestry here ranges from 39.8 to 74.6%. Their early Iranian from Yaz ancestry ranges from 23.6% to as high as 35.2%. And then you can see Anatolian ancestry ranging from 0 to 8.6%. So it is elevated here. Neolithic East Asian ancestry only peaks at 3.6% and is minimal. Late antique Arab ancestry peaks at 11.8%. But for the most part, it's lower than 6 with the exception of the Southern Iranians. Then you can see ancient South Asian ancestry here peaking at 7.8% in the Iranian Persian from Shiraz. And finally, you can also see a bit of Sub Saharan African ancestry at 1% in the Laristani. Therefore, with these updated results on the modern Iranians, you can see elevated amounts of foreign ancestry, though nonetheless it is still pretty minimal, and the continued in the majority of these samples is still greater than 85%, which is quite interesting and remarkable. Now, here are the fits, and you can see they're excellent, and for the most part, they're less than two, with the exception of two of the samples, that's the Gilak and the Laristani, which I believe are only made up of one sample. Nonetheless, for the most part, you can see that these models are genetically and scientifically validated. Thus, these results prove that even when using the early Iranian Yaz sample, you can still see a great degree of genetic continuity harbored by modern day Iranians, which is quite interesting and remarkable. Now, moving on. Here are the breakdowns for the Iranians uh, from the east and these are done using again with the early Iranian from Yaz sample. So you can see that the Iran Chalcolithic ancestry ranges from 35.6 to 50.6%. Following the Iran Chalcolithic component you can see early Iranian from Yaz ancestry ranging from 30.4 to as high as 35.6%. Neolithic East Asian ancestry ranges from 1.6 to 8.6%. Uh, ancient South Asian ancestry ranges from 6.2 to 15.8%. Anatolia Neolithic ancestry ranges from 0 to 6%. Late Antique Arab ancestry ranges from 0 to 3.8%. And finally, Sub Saharan African ancestry is minimal and only appears in one of the samples. Thus, what this means is that on a genetic level, the modern day Eastern Iranians are largely genetically contiguous, which is quite interesting. And regarding the Sub Saharan African ancestry, it only appears in the Eastern Plateau profile Iranian at 0.8%. 
Thus, what this means is that on a genetic level, the Eastern Iranians have a great degree of Aryan ancestry. Now, here are the fits, and you can see that they're less than two for the majority of these samples, which is quite interesting and remarkable. Finally, here are the Results for the Iranians from Azad Mard's personal collection who runs the Iranic Genomes Project. With these Iranians, you can see Iran calculated cancer ranging from around about 48.2% to as high as 76.2%. Early Iranians from Yaz Ansari ranges from 20.6% to as high as 32%. Then you can see ancient South Asian Ansari peaks at 6.8%. Neolithic East Asian Ansari peaks at 6.8% as well, but is minimal in the majority of these samples. Then you can see Anatolia Neolithic Ansari peaking at 8.4%. And finally, late antique Arab Ansari only appears in a few of the samples, but does not exceed more than 8.2%. Thus, these results prove that even the Iranians in Azad Mard's personal collection are also largely genetically contiguous and have minimal Arab ancestry, which is quite interesting and remarkable. Regarding the Sub-Saharan African ancestry, it's also there, but it only appears in one of the samples and is minimal and does not exceed more than 0.8% in the Khuzestani Persian. Here are the fits for these models and you can see they are less than 2 and what this means is that these results are overall supported by the scientific method. That's essentially it for this phase of the video. The final phase of this video will take a look at Yaz Aryan ancestry in the Kurds and Azerbaijanis from Iran. The reason I did not include other Kurdish and Azerbaijani samples here is that this video was solely dedicated to the genetic origin of modern Iranians, though nonetheless those populations are fairly close to Iranians as well. And I've actually proven this many times in my previous videos. Now without further ado, I'd like to begin the final phase of this analysis. Here are the results for the Kurds and you can see their Iran calculated cancer ranges from 46% all the way up to 68.8%. Their early Iranian from Yad Ansari here ranges from 22.8% to as high as 31.8%. And then you can see Anatolian Ansari ranging from 0 to 10%. Ancient South Asian Ansari here ranges from 0 to 5.8%. Neolithic East Asian Ansari ranges from 0 to 2.6%. And finally, late antique Arab Ansari ranges from 0 to 7.6%. Thus, with these results, you can see a great degree of genetic continuity harbored by modern-day Kurds. And what this also means is that genetically, these populations are very similar to the other Iranians analyzed here. Now, in regards to the models themselves, you can see that the fits are excellent and there is less than two for the most part, though in the Kurdish failure as well as the Iranian Kurd from Urmia, they are a bit higher than two. Nonetheless, overall, they are still fairly close to that two range. What this means is that these models are validated by the scientific method. Finally, here are the results for the Azerbaijanis. So you can see regarding their origins, their Iran calculated cancer ranges from 51.2 to 64.8%. Their early Iranian or Aryan answer here ranges from around about 23.2% to as high as 29.8%. Their East Asian answer ranges from 5.2 to as high as 7.6%. Their Anatolian answer ranges from 2.8 to as high as 6.6%. And finally, you can see ancient South Asian answer only appearing in three of the samples but not exceeding more than 5.2%. Now regarding the Arab ancestry, it's also at a minimal and you can see it only appears in two of the samples but does not exceed more than 2%. Overall, with these results, you can again see a great degree of genetic continuity harbored by modern-day Azerbaijanis. Now regarding the fits for these models, you can see there are less than two which is very interesting and what this means is that these models are scientifically validated. And the main takeaway from these results for the Azerbaijanis is that they're not genetically Turks, but rather they are mostly genetically Iranians, which is very interesting. To conclude, this analysis took a look at the amount of Aryan ancestry in modern Iranians and proved that modern Iranians are indeed more Aryan than Arab, and actually they have significant Aryan ancestry. In fact, modern Iranians harbor more proto-Aryan as well as actual Aryan ancestry compared to their Arab ancestry. Thus, overall, these results prove that modern Iranians do indeed have more Aryan ancestry than Arab heritage. That's essentially it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.